welcome. Welcome to another girl out that's playing. Next game I'm doing is Chain Kingdom Hearts, Chain of Memories, Game Boy Advance. Now I actually own this game. Uh, I actually own this game for my uh, Game Boy Advance, so I can play this legally. I own a lot of games, so. <laughs> um, this one will contain two files. We'll take uh, file one. Good for uh, Game Boy Advance. <laughs> By the way, this is my favorite Kingdom Hearts I've all created. I love how mysterious the castle is. You know? But what bothers me is like Sora doesn't remember things on this. If you play King Hearts 2, you kind of get me, get me good. Like, I think I must do something. Like, I like this game because it's a mysterious part of uh, Sora's story. One that Sora will never remember. And I believe the only one that does remember this entire thing is Riku. So I'm not even sure why Riku hasn't mentioned it to him. Well, most likely Goofy, because uh, King Mickey was with Riku at the end of the last game. What bothers me about the uh, Rechain and Memories uh, version, the PS2 version, was they have the older Sora for uh, the younger one, which kind of sounds really weird. Having the younger Sora's body, but with the older one coming out of his mouth. It's just really weird to me. I know the voice actor, actor for uh, Sora got older, so they couldn't really do anything about it, so it's understandable. And yes, I will be let's playing Reaching My Memories at a later date as well. Once I get my uh, screen recorder set up, I'll be doing that. As of now, this is the only version I can play. <laughs> and let's play maybe. Donald, does that really look like a heartless?
wouldn't that be messed up if, if there's an actual castle that didn't have? As you went from floor to floor, you start suddenly forgetting things. Like, you start suddenly forgetting abilities and, and like, very precious memories that can keep going up. Though I do believe the castle of living itself is not the reason for Sora losing his memories. Um, it, I believe it was the blonde girl who saw it the game. Responsible. Sorry for the spoilers, but by now everyone's played this, so. And if you are personally mad by it, you haven't played this, sorry. <laughs> what was that? We've been there. Well, I suppose we should do it what we're told for now. Since we don't know this castle all too well. How was the neighbor on us that when I first came in? You know the absence of two different footsteps? Not there anymore? Here's the tutorial fight showing you how to work the cards. I will be explaining what the friends cards do as we obtain them.
Oh. Um. I also have a meaning to explain, uh, Child of Light. I got one part up, but, uh, New Play has decided to be a total bitch and not work. Um. I've heard a lot of, uh. Like, I'm not the only one that's having trouble with New Play at the moment. Most of the time, New Play service isn't even isn't available, so I'm having trouble even getting the game to playing the game because it won't let me use the services. So until I can figure out this problem, uh, Child of Light Let's Play will be on a hiatus for a while until I can figure out, figure out a proper way to get it uh, recorded. I may have to consider recording it on my uh, console version when I get a screen recorder. Because I, I believe it's the only way to completely eliminate you play as an option. Uh, Chani Memories will be a replacement until I can get uh, Child of Light. Uh, so I'm going to call out Child of Light on a better con on a better version of it. Ouch. Now basically how these work is, uh, I'll explain this. Um, some doors uh, go up will have this golden card here. When they see this golden card does have a number, you'll need a number card and this card to open the door. Uh, there'll be both, there'll be four doors that have, that are, that need golden cards to open. Uh, the key being these is one of them, there's two more that open up, uh, more cinematic, more, uh, cutscene areas. Then there's the, um, I think it's in this version, I don't know, uh, it's, it's the, uh, key to rewards. Uh, it's basically a bonus room where you can, uh, get a card, an enemy card for, for use. Now I need a one card to open this door, so I got a one card here, it's a save room. Yeah, 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 I'll explain that. Uh, for this one I need a one or over. To open the store. So even if I don't have a one card and I have a three card, that'll work. Same goes for if the card's arrow is pointing down, which means you need a three or lower to open the door. Some doors uh, will require having multiple cards needed. Like some doors will, will need green cards, some will need red, some will need blue, some will need all three. And some doors will require a card number of 30, which requires you to uh, put in, at, put in the minimum amount shown on the door, so you have to put like, a few nines, maybe a six, you know, just to get, um, the number you need. More tutorials. These world cards, you can add these to your current deck. I wonder if I can show that off now, oh, no, 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 I can't, I'm gonna start. I'll have to wait until after the fight. Also, if you manage to hit an enemy before you go into battle, they'll start the battle stun to give you a chance to attack. Kind of like you gotta like basically you get the preemptive on on the enemy. 
If they run into you, they get the premium, I believe. You still have a chance to fight at them first, but it's almost better to hit them before they get to you. Save again, just in case. And by fighting enemies, uh, you get cards to open the doors. So I might cut out a, a bit of uh, card grinding. Just because it can get quite boring watching me fight lost heart uh, soul over and over again to get cards. Uh, people often have, prob have a problem with this game. People say that it's kind of like difficult to play. I have a lot of complaints about it. Uh oh, I think I got the buttons mis mixed up. I'll have to fix that. Uh, like left is right, right is left on the card, and that'll be very confusing for boss fights. I'm going to have to fix that soon. I'm actually going to fix it right now, I'm not struggling yet, so I'll be right back. There we go. And <clears throat> hopefully I fixed it there. Now I'm going to show off the decks here. You can make uh, three decks. I usually make a boss deck and a world deck. So I have a specific deck to fight bosses, one for world exploration and stuff. There's many different types. There's magic, which are basically the spell cards. Here are nice here. The attack cards. Each of these cards will have different types of uh, keyblades you can pick up later on that have uh, that hit harder or you know or faster. You have these potions too. These potions work differently in this game. Instead of healing Sora, they bring back your cards faster. You don't have to wait to wait to reload. Then we have other cards which I'll explain when I get them in time. The enemy cards they'll give you specific effects like like haste and uh, there's one card later in the game that'll give you basically a, a free life kind of thing. Um, I don't have a card to make a blast deck right now, so I'll just stick with deck one. I'll rename it to World Camp. And this one, boss deck. Basically, you want to fill the boss deck up with uh, 0 and 9 cards. I don't have enough of that anymore, so... That's pretty much it for that. And the world map is good to look at so you know where to go. Like these three here... Uh, these are the rooms we need to go to next. I believe we only need to go to two for the cutscene and one for the for the treasure room. I believe the uh, stipulations to get the key rewards card is you have to at least pass the first stage, I think. First floor. Ah, I remember all that now. Anyways, uh. Donald, uh, basically, when you summon Donald, he'll cast a random spell. He can use two of them for, the, for one card. If you get two Donalds, he'll cast uh, higher level spells like Fire uh, and Fire Ga. Or Fire uh, and then Tura. And if you get three, he'll cast even more powerful spells like, like the guys like Fire Ga, Kira Ga, Ice Ga. The Goofy card, um, he, he'll spin around in battle and uh, hit enemies. Basically for him, the more cards you get, the more the, the longer he'll spin. And the more damage he'll do. This is the card to get in here. The guy's basically seeing Donald's level 1 card. I'm gonna try to show off uh, double card attack. 
Ah, good. This card basically will make them make it so in this room only more friend cards will drop in battle. Oh crap. I'm uh, forgetting that. I hope I got that. Check. Damn it! I didn't get it. Shit. That was another ice card. I did it. Ah! So oh, fuck. Dang it. I can't let this waste two cards. Uh, show up, uh, Goofy. Oh, I... Never mind, he doesn't spin. I was wrong. Look at a shield back. I'm so used to the people in the version. Not for him, he spins around the battlefield. This one... Yeah, he's going to talk shield bash. Uh, let's boost the card points. I need to put cards in it. Two ice cards, and we can now cast ice or ice drop. Or in some uh, games, ice two. Let's fill that off. Yeah, blizzard. Uh, that's what it is. Basically, what I'm doing to get the three cards to show up um, is stacking them. How it works is if you stack a card, the card you use at the beginning will disappear from the entire battle, and that's what you until the battle is done. So use that technique wisely, because you'll run out of cards. That, it's basically for slice. Bosses will abuse this crazy. One of the strategies you can use in your boss pick, having a full of zero cards, is use your zero cards to constantly break theirs. Zero cards work in two different ways. If you use the zero card first, you can block any number. It doesn't matter how high, it'll block it. And if you use it... Or, no, if you use it last, first, you'll get blocked for sure. It's a zero card. And if you use it, if you use the zero card first, and you then use the zero card, it'll block any number, no matter how high it is. It's a very useful strategy to use against bosses, but so basically a few the uh slight And uh basically every time they use our card they'll lose one as they keep uh using the slights over and over and over again. And that could cause them to lose a lot of their cards and they're screwing themselves in the long run. Making the boss like a ton easier. It's one of the techniques I try to use on Wiki later on. Sorry for another, another spoiler. Ah, oh, Donald, you healed it! Jesus! That's one of the reasons why I don't like Donald in this game, is since his spells are he casts random spells. Uh, it's not all that useful against enemies, like an outturn and stuff. Donald can end up healing them. Ah, oh, I'm the way there. So most of the time I prefer not to use Donald. He is useful when you need him to heal, because more often he will heal you. Heal, heal. One card. I've already explained these cards. These are the cutscene cards. You need to use these to continue on with the story. We need to have the right story card, which we do. So
Sean doesn't remember us? Gee, that's not surprising considering the guy literally told us that this area is all an illusion. Why does Sora why does Sora forget that? Like the guy really Annie told us that the castle creates illusions of the places he's been to from his memories. And he nearly assumes it's the actual world itself, because he thinks that these that this Leon's gonna remember him. When you have to remember that this is after Kingdom Hearts 1, so Sora was just meeting Leon on that one. Leon and Leon on that one too. So it kinda makes sense he doesn't know them right now. This is one of his Sora's memories, so this is like his memory of them first meeting again. In my my theory. I still don't really I understand why Sora immediately thinks this, this is a real Leon after being just being told that this entire castle, like, the rooms in this castle are, are illusions. Fourteen years old, you have her wearing the most scoopiest outfit ever. That's just wrong. to eating candy during my let's plays. Uh, I usually just, just like sit back in the mic so you don't have to hear me chewing on a gummy. Hopefully you guys aren't hearing it. You may hear the bag, but hmm. this is the the thing I tutorial that explains the numbers and the system I was talking about earlier. Where you can stack your cards in three and basically raise the number from like three fives to like fifteen. Here. He explains that certain numbers can be blocked. Here. 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 He even explains the usefulness of the zero cards. Properly, you can wipe out any boss in this game. Just by having them use up all their cards, when they use their slights. Like I said before, the 
bosses abuse the slights in this game. That's all they ever use. So it's easy to drain their cards to like three or four of them, just move them over. Yeah, stalking or, you know. Basically, stalking. Basically, st uh, stocking the cards. This is the number 37, 27, but 6 is 20. These cards can be stored there unless the boss decides to throw a really strong attack. You can break it with a higher one. It's like three fives, so it's 15, I think, to do the slide dash, which I haven't learned yet, so... Simba, now we know how but we have our first summon card. We're just gonna try to equip. I probably won't have enough room for him. So it requires card point that requires 30 card points. Oops. Oh crap, what did I do? Um Oh! I actually had enough space for him, I need to remove one card, so I'll get rid of this one. Now I have enough room for Simba. I'll be setting up my boss then off screen. It, uh, it may not be ready for the first boss, so I'll probably end up using my world deck to take them on, but... For the later bosses, I'll have a boss deck slightly built up and ready to go. Hopefully. Okay, we're gonna go from Krang just to make sure I'm not missing anything. Let's see, we need a four, so... Of darkness. I believe there's a way that it, it, it kind of it should uh, explain uh, which cards to me. I think I have to go into the card and find out. Let's take a look at the map and see where we need to go. We need to go start over here. This might be the right door. Let's go. It's the right door. We need a Three to get in here, so we'll put it in this one. And continue the next cutscene. Bugs me 
know, this is the only world he seems to recognize. The other ones he doesn't. Sorry for the rap, for the crackling that's playing. No, you're not here. No, correct that means away now, so. One, uh, each world will be a part. So this one, after we finish Chiris Town, I'll be ending it there, and then the next part will continue on with the next, the next part. With the next world, so. Now you get it, Sora! Sheesh! Everyone here is an illusion. They don't remember you because they're not the real ones. Of troops. This is the final goal we need to go to. So I was wrong. Uh, I believe the. Um, I don't think there is a key to reward for them. For the game that. I don't remember, actually. I'll have to look it up after this part so, so I know for sure. We need a 5 or higher to get through this door. Uh, I don't really want to waste my 6. I'm gonna carve them this nothing. Games here are quite easy, so. Yeah, I'll pick them up fast. I'll die. Ah! I think I will use that six. I don't want to sit here forever. Oh, what am I saying? They're everywhere. Here. Five. That's how I needed earlier. Sheesh. Okay, the red orbs. The red ones. Uh, those orbs are removal points. They're so used to buy cards from the new I don't have a removal card yet, so I can't show it off. But I will when I get the card. I think the potions are a one or a one time use I think just so that it doesn't make it easy to be a little card. Right? These cards you see shall be the key to truth. And the green card. This is one of the doors I was talking about, but it's the color. Continue. So 
even if we have any other cards with the right number, it doesn't require a number, it'll require actually a green card. But we, I've got one left over, so... It won't matter, it won't, it won't matter what number it, what the green card is. So, a lot of doors, I uh, think, to have, like, you know, one, some doors have meaning all three, uh, all three colors. Dragoon, let's see. If you're Final Fantasy VII's Dragoon, you can handle it yourself. Right, uh, usually the last door is always the boss room. And I believe the key, if it is in this, I'm gonna have to search it up. But if it is in this, I think the key of rewards will show up after you beat the boss. I think. So this boss will be familiar to those who have played Kingdom Hearts 1. Considering we're going through Sora's memories, it makes sense that we're going to be refighting this guy. But this time, we're stuck with the cards. It makes it a little bit more difficult. I believe all his rooms have some health bars. So basically, I think he's just like the blast from the first game of heart. Basically, you, you pack out his limbs until they fall off and attack the people from the body, whatever it is. Ah! Now there'll be a specific card that appears in boss battles only. Here's the Mickey Mouse card. This uh, card will turn your uh, battle into your fever. In this battle, it makes the guard armor fall apart, making it easier to hit. Showing off someone now. Oh, he got blocked. Nice. Now for Simba. Basically, he does a RAR, which will hit uh, multiple enemies. Let me start. Give me that. Give me that. Ah! Up and down again. I'm losing limbs, so he'll, he'll, his strategy will change. Ah, come on, you. Come on. Charge. Take that. Oh, okay, he didn't do that in Kingdom Hearts 1. Jeez. Ah! Ah! Oh no! Hit the blizzard on! Yes. Right, that's all I need. That wasn't a bad change for a left player to be seeing with music, but I still don't know. It's pretty good for a game like that. Ah, it's not Ah. 
Slight, I guess. No, why not? I'll learn sliding dash. With all that, just for a bit of boss. One man was. Riku was an enemy. This part kind of is kind of creepy because basically the Donald and Goofy is Sora talking to himself. Aerith is not there to them, but to Sora, Aerith is there. It's weird. See? He was standing there talking to himself. Now we leave Traverse Town. I believe this room is called Conqueror for Spite. Yeah, moments pretty. It's called Conqueror for Spite in the uh, in uh region of memories. But I believe if you look at the map, then you order each room. I believe it should explain what, uh, what's going on in each room, I think. Well, maybe not. Never mind. We have to look at the cards themselves to figure out what effects they need in each room. And I won't end it just yet, because there's always a cutscene after each, after each mission four, so... Everyone 
remember him from Kingdom Hearts 2. This is where he debuted, Axel, I think. So we're in for a fight. This is why I didn't cut the episode short. I've had to hear forever town. Usually after each floor you have to play the boss or something. Not every floor has them, but some do. Depends on how many floors you go up. Stuff and it's our first organization number. Axel is weak to ice, so I've got two of them. Now, as I said before, the AI will abuse their slice. But I'm going to the boss fight. Axel will tend to use Firewall a lot in this fight. Nothing I do with Zero Card, which can completely block the attack, so... This fight is fairly simple. Uh-oh, I think I just used all my ice card. That's not good. Hey, come on! Ah! Okay, I need to switch his buttons. After this uh, point, I'm switching the buttons. It's causing trouble for me. I can't switch the switch cards fast enough. Take care of Axel. And with that, we gain the fire us the fire spell. And some wall cards. Didn't deal with them, just go around. Cast a fire spell and heal him. Also, this Kingdom Hearts, uh, Jiminy plays a bigger role in this one. He's always. He actually, uh, is seen more often. And the first and second one, he's not seen very, like, he's not seen at all, really. Except in the, except the beginning of the first one, when you, when you first, you know, get, when you first meet him. And in Kingdom Hearts 2, at the beginning of the game, when you wake up from slumber.
Not the first time. I'll have Baskin. If you enjoyed this, if you did, feel free to give the like, subscribe, like, subscribe button, and click. And uh, stay tuned for the next part where we venture to the next floor. Until then, until then.